We will continue our calculation now after we identify or calculating the total flow and the slope of the pipe. We will work on the other uh, parameters uh, to calculate the, the velocity. As you know, we uh, at the beginning of our calculation, we assume the calculation one meter per second. Now I need to recheck again the velocity. How I can check the velocity? Now I have the total flow and I have the slope. I, will, I can use the other uh, formulas uh, like Manning or the other uh, scientists. I will use this formula. I have the total flow. I have the slope. I need to find key factor. How I can find it? It is like this. It will be the total flow divided on the slope. This is the total flow. This is the formula. K factor uh, equal to total flow divided on the slope. And the slope under the SQRT, you can find it. I need to find other factor. Now I have the KW. I can use the manual way. There is some diagrams. The, the diameter for the pipe with the diameter 200. This is the minimum diameter we are using in the sewage system or the drain system, 200. Let's search for the key, KW. We have the KW now what? We have it is uh, 92. Back to the diagram, it is 92. It is between, between here. It is, it is between 80 and 104. Between these two, Two, uh, two figures between two numbers, and if you look here, you will see the percentage of the percentage of uh, of flow within the pipe. It is uh, the the edge, the, the 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 height of the of the water divided on the diameter of the of the pipe. The height of the water within the pipe divided on uh, diameter of the pipe. It will it will be like between. 35 percentage to 40 percentage so this pipe will be full by water about the, the this pipe will be a 40 percent or a less than 40 percent of the water we will fill this pipe and if you look here i will find other factor it's we called it the velocity factor w velocity factor and you can see it is something it is hard to work on these diagrams or these uh, charts and each, each, if you want each time to see KW and each time to back to the this paragraph and take the the H uh, divided on D and D, uh, W, it will be a long time. So there is other sheet designed to make our life easy. I will use it. It is, uh, this is the calculation for velocity in the pipe. Uh, this will start from the diameter uh, 300. This is uh, this is uh, here you can find all the diameter. I will start from the 300 until 2500. Here you can find the KW uh, in, in other way, in other meaning. Uh, all the data here, all the data here. It just we took all the data from this diagram and put it in the Excel sheet here for each diameter. You will see. For the diameter uh, 300, we found the, the K, uh, we found the W, and we found the H divide H. H divide H, it is the, the percentage of flu within the pipe. Now, I just want to put here the, the K that I get from my calculation. This is the K. I will just copy it. This is the KW. I will put it here. I will press calculation. Now, what I have, I have the percentage of water. For, for 300, now I have uh, the, the diameter of the pipe is 300. Uh, I have the velocity vector. I will just copy the velocity factor here. I will put it here. This is the velocity factor. Now I need to check the velocity now. From how I can do that, I have the other formula. Now I have the slope of the pipe. I have the uh, the velocity factor W. I need to get V, the velocity. I will just put it here. It is this multiply slope. 
you see it is 1.16 while what I supposed at the beginning I supposed 1 so it's not correct so what I will do I will get the calculated velocity and copy it here again you will see our or the the, the the all the formulas change it now I can go back to uh, flow here you will see I will copy it again this number it's increased a little bit I will go again here best you will see this is W again I will take it again put it here you see it's almost the same 1.16 1.16 so it is just one round one round of repeat the calculation I get the velocity now I need to continue also because I get the velocity I can get the H the percentage of the the fluid in the pipe as well here you see it is about it's not that much it is just 22 uh, 22 percent for that the three uh, and the diameter here the diameter this is for 300 and I'm sure if you go to the 200 it will be enough 200 and it will be about 37 percentage if you go back to the uh, to the sheet or the diagram uh, choose the 200 and go but what why I put 300 because I don't have calculated uh, sheet for 200 because uh, this sheet started from 300 uh, maybe I need uh, time to re input all 200 250 also again because maybe this is designed for uh, concrete this is sheet designed for concrete if you notice not for polyethylene if you notice to the end and it is this is this is figure related to the concrete pipes but anyway uh, this is the way this is the the the, the method this is the the uh, the way that we are using to calculate the diameter of the pipe now i have the velocity i have the uh, the percentage of the flow i have the diameter and i check the velocity and it is, it is okay if I need to increase the, the, the velocity, maybe I can uh, change the, uh, the slope. If you see the slope 200 percent, it's a lot. Maybe I can make it less. But look to the velocity. It is still more than the minimum because I have 0 0.3 is the minimum velocity. And uh, maybe 7, maybe 6, but I will work on the, on the concrete pipe. Let's say concrete pipe. Let's say um, uh, 4. You then four, uh, so uh, zero point three meter per second. It's the minimum velocity, and four uh, per second is the maximum velocity. I am still within the uh, within the, uh, the, the the approved uh, velocities, zero point uh, thirty six. But look what 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 I gain from decreasing the the slope. Decreasing the slope will decrease the uh, the excav excavation works. And that will affect the cost. But on the other hand, you cannot decrease the, cost, the, the, the slope uh, as you want. No, uh, there is a minimum uh, height, minimum height above the pipe for, for the crown of the pipe. Crown of the pipe, there is a minimum height. For the sewage or sewer uh, system, just to protect the pipe from the weather conditions, and to protect the pipe from the heavy load so we will say one meter or one one half meter above the crown of the pipe